Hi, guys. Welcome to She Speaks Bravo with Emily Hanks. Back again is my co-pilot for this season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. He is the host of the podcast Reality and Comics 2. He is a meme assassin. Please welcome Kendrick Tucker. Hello. How are you this week? I'm good. Actually, what I've not done anything. What is it, Monday? Oh, it's Monday. We haven't done anything yet. God. I'm allowed I mean, to not do anything. You for you, it feels like it's been a, a week, right? Right. I mean, it's got to be Friday at this point. Like it, it can't be Monday. This is kind of ridiculous. I'm do not. Do you okay. just work? Do you work over the weekend? Are you like a 24 seven on call situation? God, so I, I'm I've gotten better about it. Like now that I'm in this, this new position, I'm trying my best to like log off completely during the weekends. But every now and then, I'm just like. Uh, let me kind of dip my toe in to see what's going on. But then if I do that, I risk like sitting down for six hours, like a full work day. Cause I'm like, Oh, I might as well go ahead and get through all of this until tomorrow. And then it's a lot. So no, I'm trying to be a five day work week person. I'm trying, I'm trying my hardest, but oh, the universe, <laughs> the universe. That's what's tough when you're in a management position because mm-hmm. the work has to get done no matter what. So right. It's not like you're an employee that clocks in, clocks out. You leave your job there. It's like mm-hmm. the work has to get done. Mm-hmm. So you're like, I mean, I might as well just get it done now because I'm going to have to do it anyway. Right. <laughs> but then you realize that you don't get awarded for working on the weekends. And then you're like, I'm the only one that suffered. Right. I'm just sitting around like, well, end of your mm-hmm. bonus. Maybe that'll, that'll make up for it. Like maybe that'll be a good Christmas gift. But who knows? Right. <laughs> Hoping fingers right. crossed. <laughs> right. Um, I feel like my prediction was a little correct. It was, I think this last episode of Atlanta was a little bit of a filler. Just oh, I loved a it so little. much. Uh, it yeah. was, no, it was still good. It was mm-hmm. still good, but st- it, they still could have sped up a few scenes to get yeah. Drew entering into the, the party. And having that scene, they still Mm could have done that. I get why they didn't. But the difference is, as you stated, Mm -hmm. they are so entertaining. Yeah. That it's okay. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's okay. I enjoy it. I laughed from start to finish. So I was okay with it. And I like the, it feels like we got a big mix of like different scenes in this one. Like we got a whole lot of comedic scenes. We got a whole lot of like, emotional stuff too so it was a good me it was like a good well-rounded episode which reality tv should be when i watch beverly hills i feel like i like rag on beverly hills all the time like salt lake city especially <laughs> i don't know why but when i like think of like those shows it's always like see like i can appreciate new jersey at least because even though new jersey is like the same drama all the time it is kind of comedic because you're like there's no way y'all of this I don't want to say the word, but there's no way you're this lacking of intelligence sometimes. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> know, I didn't know <laughs> what you were trying to say. Now I get it. You know, <laughs> I, I try, like that that's I where you were going. I try not to say that word. I try not to call people <laughs> stupid and dumb and stuff like this. So I'm like, what's a nice Merriam-Webster way of saying that, you know, you are not the, the sharpest knife in the drawer a lot of the time. So like that, but, but like Salt Lake City and Beverly Hills sometimes, it just feels like it's so like, Oh God, let me, you gotta, you like gotta put on your combat gear to watch the episode sometimes. You're like, here we go. Let me get ready to go down to the bomb shelter and see what they're doing in Beverly Hills this week or Salt Lake City. And I just, I'm glad that like reality TV was a laugh is coming back. That's like my favorite genre. Like Atlanta and Potomac always deliver the laughs for me. And so I, I like that. You know what it is? They respect, it's like, it's like Sheree comes back and and Marlo has a peach. They respect the oath of office of a housewife. Yes. Yes. You know, it's like they're they're honored to be in this role and they will do what it takes. So they're going to show up and they're going to do a little bit of a, a they're going to they're going to be maybe a little calculated and maybe do some stuff that's ridiculous for camera like to- like kenya too they're gonna stir the pot and they're gonna be mm-hmm. messy mm-hmm. but it feels like they at least and res- i'm okay with it <laughs> exactly at least they respect that they're making a show yes. as where when you're watching beverly hills 
like with with Crystal giving you a little bit, but then refusing to say what it is. And I'm like, this is so boring, you guys. Like it's you are making a TV show. Like uh-huh. I get that now it's, but then they make it so serious. And you're like, yes. You know what this reminds me of? You're everything you're saying is so spot on. I was, I feel like I I dropped this like. I've only dropped it like twice, but I feel like I drop it way too often. But when I was on Reasonably Shady with uh, Robin and Giselle, one of the things- Shout out. You should shout (laughs) that out all the time. I try not to. I feel like that's so obnoxious. But Mm -hmm. one of the things that like uh, we talked about with them is because I was telling them like, I love a reality star that shows up to the scene and actually does the work. And Giselle was like, there is no way that like, I'm going to sit up here two hours getting dressed and all this kind of stuff. And then like, none of us live near each other. So like I'm driving like halfway across the moon to like get to your house and not get a scene worth putting on TV. So like she makes sure that every time she shows up on screen, she shows up on screen and makes her coworkers do the same. I'm like, I wish everybody in all of these cities across the U S had the same mentality. Like I would appreciate it so much. I just love that. That's my kind of reality star. Like otherwise, what are we doing? Why because are we here? <laughs> what you can tell that there's a level of like respect for it too uh-huh. amongst the Potomac and Atlanta cast. Uh-huh. Like you can see Candy and and Kenya both knowing exactly what Marlo and Sheree are doing. Uh-huh. Like they both know they were like, I see what you're fucking doing. I know right. what you're doing right now. But it's like okay. They are, that's TV. But mm-hmm. like with Beverly Hills, they're paranoid about making a TV show. It's like they know, they're like, you're, are you trying to do it right now? Are you trying to make a TV show? Is that what you're trying to do? It's like, yes. no, yeah, that's what everyone should be trying to do, guys. Right. And you know what? I will, I'm sure we'll talk about it, but one of the things that like I immediately kind of picked up on that wasn't supposed to be picked up on, but we watch these shows, obviously so often it was a different lens the moment when speaking to your point when kenya was um showed up to the event you know and sheree and marlo kind of double teamed her and she was telling them no i had to face some makeup because i was gonna come but i had to go to the doctor the doctor told me to come in you know i was uh he said you need to take a test in my mind the way i read that scene is she wanted to tell them exactly what happened but she couldn't because she'd be breaking the fourth wall she was like look production has me coughing and all this kind of stuff. They want to know if they need to shut this shit down for two weeks, like what needs to happen. So I had to go take a test. That's what she wanted to say. Like, hello, we're living in the age of COVID. I need to go and make sure that I'm okay before I come back and film with you guys. And obviously Marlo and Sheree knew that, but they knew she wasn't going to reference them. So they're like, no, we're going to jab at you just a little bit more to act like we don't know what you're talking about. Why you had a full face of makeup? Why did you have to go to the doctor? All like that. And it's like, okay, I kind of respect this all the way around. I respect Kenya for not breaking the fourth wall, but I also respect y'all for knowing exactly what she means, but still finding a way to poke at her anyway. I love and it. <laughs> it's like, the, thank you guys. Thank you mm-hmm. for respecting the honorable position you have accepted <laughs> yes. as a real housewife, because yes. it's, it is an honor to be elected mm-hmm. <laughs> to mm-hmm. serve as a real housewife damn it we've listen we've seen many come and go <laughs> so to be around exactly. at this point season 14 it's an honor it's like they take an oath okay yes. they, and they respect <laughs> that oath all right mm-hmm. and so you know speaking of the one who's respecting it Sheree's on her third round back yes so she's so have you at all been getting comments? Uh, have you been seeing this at all? Because I've been receiving a lot of DMs and I've, got, I've gotten a lot of comments that Sheree, like they really are doubling down on the fact that Sheree totally knew that Tyrone was not able to film and that oh. all of this is fully for a storyline. Like I've gotten at least a Ooh. dozen. I have seen people kind of say that they haven't like confirmed, but they, you know, they've said obviously like, yeah. I just feel like, she probably knew. Or, and then I think someone, I don't know if it was a blind item or what, but like someone came out and was like, oh no, production knew for a long time. But yeah, I've heard the other angle too. Like not that she knew, but that production knew the whole time and still had her go and make that film. And then of course, <laughs> of course, titled the episode, She By Herself. So. <laughs> That's so much worse. <laughs> How shady, but also... Thank you for considering us. I appreciate it. (laughs) I mean, savage. 
exactly here's, okay here's what i here's what let's do some fan fiction what i imagine okay. let's let's here's what i imagine mm-hmm. production was like guys okay look tyrone can't film it'll totally <laughs> it'll totally break his parole um <laughs> Let's not tell Sheree because I have a great title of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> she by herself, and they're like, "Brilliant, brilliant." Yes. Okay, we won't tell her. We won't tell her. We got to. We got. We got it. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. And that's yes. why they let it play out. Because I can't imagine Sheree. She's not a good actress, right? Remember when she was pursuing acting? Remember, like back in the original days, and she was pursuing around season acting? three. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and they she like went on an audition or something and they were mm-hmm. or like an acting class and they literally were like okay no you're not They're like oh um. so we've seen firsthand she's not an actress so yes. i would buy more of that production totally set her up I believe it. You know, there's probably the one it. person in the room that's like, no, we have to have morals. And they're like, you're fired. Get out of here. They're like, like, did no. you hear the title? They're right. like, okay, you're right. You're right. The title's too good. It's fantastic. Yes, let's do it. <laughs> so the opening is her talking to her daughter about what happened with Tyrone. And, mm-hmm. you know, look, I, I will say this again over and over again. I am never going to judge anybody for their choice in men because mm-hmm. I have made... The most embarrassing choices in men. All right. Haven't, haven't we all? <laughs> so as much as everyone's like, dump him. You'll never, ever hear me say that. I will never instruct anybody on a decision with this because I have gone back to worse than Tyra. Well, no. Okay, fine. No one's ever actually <laughs> gone to prison that I've dated. No, actually, that's not true. I dated a guy that went to jail. Okay. There you go. Okay. okay. You got a couple right. of click calls. Okay. <laughs> all right. So there was one. Um, but so she's still hung up on that and fine. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to hold it against her. She's wasted a lot of time. I, you put in the effort and the fact that he called though, like, which is so I've had, I've had so many men do this to me mm-hmm. when they, when they do you wrong and mm-hmm. like, you've been calling and calling and calling and they're not picking up. And then they have the nerve to call you and mm-hmm. be like, Hey, what's up? As if like those 20 missed calls are not on your phone right now, just didn't come through. For some reason, you had the wrong number, even though it's been programmed the same forever. Okay, gotcha. It is the epitome of an insult Mm -hmm. on top of an insult. Mm -hmm. It's like, because they, the only acceptable way they can answer, the only way they can talk to you in that moment is being like, I'm so sorry. Oh my God. I left my phone. I, I, mm-hmm. I lost my phone. My phone was, wh- no, you don't, you don't. <laughs> yep. So he did that to her. Uh-huh. And so, yeah, so she, so he's not, he's, he's an asshole. Fine. We know this. We, we're, I feel no like you shouldn't. You shouldn't date anyone that like Erica Badu has made a whole song about anyway. Yeah, uh-huh. So I feel like all right? Tyrones on the planet should just be, let's put y'all in the <laughs> corner. And then once we like pair off everyone else, we'll come back to y'all. Like as long as Erica Badu has a song out there, I think we're, we're okay on y'all for a minute. Yeah. She really said, she explained this already. Okay. Sheree, we already heard about this. Yep. <laughs> all right. Uh, okay. So next Drew meets Kenya for lunch. And I got to <laughs> tell you, Kenya really she's a professional yes right like she she says exactly what she needs to say in this lunch she's like Mm -hmm. sorry for getting a little messy with ralph and then she sort of stirs the pot a little bit and lets her know what sonya and her talked about on Mm -hmm. their walk and then also mentions how like she's met she's like i didn't know men were coming and why did we have to have sex toys and i'm like wow she really just kind of checked check got all the boxes ticked and uh, yep. there we go yep off to the races she came she showed i love that the, the editors were like well we're not gonna let you have all of these and they flash back the candy telling them well if you can bring a date bring a date <laughs> and it's like oh so you you did know and you acknowledge that you might bring a date too okay yeah but that's said, all right kenya you that's said all right. you're gonna bring a date <laughs> Right. <laughs> I love how Kenya starts ordering like all the all the appetizers, and Drew's like, "Oh, wh- are you paying?" Right. <laughs> if you caught it in the beginning of this scene, 
uh, Kenya sat down. She was like, I've never been here before. My friend recommended this. And so I'm guessing Drew like invited her out to eat. And so when Kenya started ordering, she was like, no, wait a minute. I'm not paying for all that. <laughs> Drew is See, cheap. I, We've I learned that Drew is cheap. Much. Yes. <laughs> We're cheap and cheap, cheap, cheap. We so, have learned yeah. this about her. Mm-hmm. We've also we also learned that Drew was uninvited to, which is so she was uninvited. I think I might have misunderstood. She was uninvited to the photo shoot, right? Yes, because she hadn't planned the uh the cooking event yet. Okay, so she was mm-hmm. uninvited to the photo shoot. And speaking of the photo shoot. Did you right away I when she was talking about mommy nation I was like this is giving me Monique's not for lazy moms energy, yes. right mm-hmm. immediately yep the yes. way she was describing it she kind of gives me Monique energy sometimes too like just mm-hmm. like her like even like her body type and like her like kind of intense energy I love that um <laughs> on Love and Marriage DC, which Monique is now like the star mm. kind of cast member on, when she was doing her introduction, she was like, you might know me from my podcast, Not For Lazy Moms. It's like, no, that's... Girl! That's, that's not It's okay where I know to admit from. you were on Housewives. <laughs> right. It's all right. I know you think that can go away, but it's okay. <laughs> you have fans. Like, you, you might know me from my essential oils line. It's like, not that one either. Keep, keep going. I, I, come on. You, you can say it. Come on. She finally gets to, or you might know me from that other show. I'm like, there we go. There it That's is. That's the one. Okay. That's it. I was pretty offended that Uh-oh. she would have the, uh, that Sonia would have the audacity to put the queens, Kenya and Candy, for free. Mm-hmm. In a Black Friday promotional shoot? Yikes. Did, Yikes. Did you hear Candy whisper to her, I like her, so be nice. <laughs> we all have that one friend we got to tell every, every time we go somewhere, like, be nice. I like these people. Be nice. Did you- be nice. Okay. Be nice. <laughs> You always have to get a little speech before you go anywhere. Like, be nice. I'm yeah, like these people. <laughs> this is this is not the one to do your normal shit with. Yes. <laughs> you gotta um, make sure they don't they don't come to your favorite restaurant. They gotta go, you know, you go to the hole in the wall with them. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I like this place. <laughs> Sonia said she felt the most connected to those two um when they were in New York. I c I'm I clocked this right away. I'm like, I see what you're doing. Uh-huh. They're the most veteran, they're the most established. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Uh-huh. Okay. It felt like, see, I've been one of the things that I've been really interested about this season in the comment section is because you know I, I'm really not a big comment section reader because I try to I try to preserve my mental health and positivity. So I, I really was don't read. Say, that's healthy. Yeah, I really don't read a lot of comment sections. But whenever I see that like someone posts about like Drew and San- Sanya, I always like go and kind of read the comments because I'm always curious to see what people think about this particular situation. And it seems like people do like for the most part genu- genuinely think that like Sanya has like traded up on Drew for absolutely no reason or like not a reason that we all understand. And so now it's like, okay, did you do this to kind of social? I don't think Drew used the word. What did she say? She said it felt like you were clout chasing. That's what it was. Mm. I don't think clout chasing was the right word. I think it was more like social climbing in a way. Because clout chasing, I think, implies that she wanted to be friends with Drew to, like, you know, build up her name. But it's like, you probably know the name. Probably more so than, well, I don't, okay, I won't, I won't go there. I won't get into that. But. You know, I, it almost feels like she wants to be friends with Candy and Kenya yeah. because obviously, like most followers, probably the two, like you know, Candy is the longest running. Kenya is like the most notorious on the show, so it feels like there would be a better fit for her if she wants to, like, you know, if they say, okay, should we? A production comes back to her and says, okay, should we keep her around for another season? Mm-hmm. Do you think? And then obviously, those are the two you want in your corner saying, oh, yeah, bring her back. We love her. She's great. She's amazing. Let's give her another chance and all like that. So I don't think Drew, even though Drew's an amazing housewife and is like at the forefront of the season, I don't think she has that kind of pull with production yet. So she mm-hmm. she just clocked the, the hierarchy. Mm-hmm. 
because uh, she knew Sheree and Marlo were basically worthless <laughs> to her. <laughs> I was yep. shocked she had the nerve to invite them to do a photo shoot. Like that was a, that was bold. Yeah, especially like, you know Candy wants to be Candy and Ken. You want their money for everything. So I was when Candy said that Kenya doesn't do anything without getting paid. I'm like, uh, look who's talking. You do. right. <laughs> same. Right. Big same. Um, yet again, Kenya stirs the pot because Sonia brings up the Jamaican event that she's going to have and how she is going to invite Drew. And Kenya goes, oh, even though Drew said you don't have a mind of your own. <laughs> Good job. Love Good it. Job. You Good know job. what that reminded me of? Like one of my favorite, my favorite Potomac like episode is, well, I have a couple, but one of my favorites is obviously like the dinner party from hell at Candace's house where um you know her and ashley the butter knife all of that but like people don't clock like people like try to like down talk robin a lot but they don't clock a lot of the stuff that she does and i always catch it and i love it because during that scene ashley was like venting and ranting about something entirely different and she brought up something and robin was like oh you meant when candace said that uh you know you shouldn't be trying to drink when you're pregnant or something like that and then she just goes back to eating her food and ashley's like oh yeah and another thing and i'm like oh jesus like i i love that so i love it when a housewife like kind of sneaks in a little bomb on you just to kind of for the it has nothing to do with the scene like they're they're like they could be off making you know with sonia's mom actually cooking but they just come over here to like oh let me let me start a little shit let me just do that and then go back over here and do my own thing you know what it means it means they're paying attention and they're finding any opportunity they can they're like oh Real uh -huh. quick, we just sprinkle that in there. Even if it doesn't yeah. go anywhere, they're like, I did my job. Uh -huh. It's like the, the school of Tamara, Kenya, Giselle. <laughs> like, yeah. all of them could teach a class about how to just start shit and then just like sit back with your arms crossed <laughs> and watch it unfold. <laughs> it's true. I love it. <laughs> Kenya tells them about what happened to Sheree in Philly. Uh -huh. There's that. So... Okay, we'll get we'll get to that later. All right, so Marlo's hosting Sheree's surprise <laughs> girls' night, mm -hmm. um, and this is when we find out Ken Kenya's not coming. She does sound sick, um, but she's mm -hmm. got this full face of makeup on, and she's going to send Drew over with things. And mm -hmm. so obviously Marlo is like, hmm, suspicious. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, we've got Sonya going shopping with her mom. And so, like, they're yes. telling each other what's happening. And did you, I'm sure you did, but the, they were doing this weird thing where they would say something like, you don't want Sonya to get here. And then they would echo it, like, throughout yeah, Atlanta. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the editing this season has been correct. Like, for everything, it almost feels like a cartoon sometimes. Yeah. Like when they did oh, the like Marlo, a comic like, book. Yes. They did like the Batman reference with Marlo. And I'm like, this is a lot. And I love every moment of it. It's like they're just having fun. They're like, we don't even care. Like, let's just. Right. Let's just, there's no need to really take this too seriously. Right. It's like giving uh, T'Challa in season five of Potomac his own lines and everything. It's That like, was actually. Uh, wow. That yes. was brilliant. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. To give him a character and dialogue and throwing shade. That was so smart. <laughs> when they went to commercial, he was like, you trick. I was like, this is too much. <laughs> <laughs> too I much. forgot about that. <laughs> so we go, we go to Sheree and like, I am calling this shit out because she has pajamas on. Yes. Okay. Mm. But this bitch has a full face of makeup on mm -hmm. okay i was in pajamas earlier today but you don't have a i now have a full face of makeup well not full i have a face of makeup <laughs> on okay i didn't mm -hmm. look like this mm -hmm. so she's snacking and we already posted about this we went back and forth this bitch is talking about potato chips uh -huh. i'm like why are we talking about chips but as kendrick pointed out <laughs> And I didn't even notice this worked on me too. Kendrick goes, I did though go grab chips. And I was yeah. like, oh my God, I did I bought chips. Like I literally purchased chips when this episode was over. It was like, mm -hmm. oh, I was like, you put two and two together. It was so effective. It was. And they do, I can't remember the other thing, but they they've done this on Atlanta specifically a couple of times. I think they referenced a movie before, like Cynthia, oh, yeah. I think was in a scene and was like, Oh yeah, and you know, I, I might go and see that new so and so I'm like what is happening like what is actually happening right now like this is a lot but it's always effective because i always remember it so i'm like mm. 
The Maybe. worst offense was on Roni when Dorinda and Sonia went to go see a movie and they literally had a 10 minute conversation about what, well, wow, that, yes. movie, that Rebel Wilson really yes. is. I'm like, oh my God, you guys, <laughs> they, they paid you money for this. Right. Yes, that's um, exactly it. They, and they were like Lay's potato chips, right? Like they, it mm-hmm. was that, they were the Lay's baked Lay's. Like, I, we, you know what I think it was? I think it was the sound of her crunching them. Yes. Because they, they like amplified the crunch so much. Yes. I was like, ooh, I bet those are like good and yeah. greasy and everything. I was like, I need at least a couple in my life. And I went in there and grabbed those chips immediately when I was watching this episode. I'm like, as soon as commercial comes on, I'm going to get chips. Like, I need my chips. And they gave her like talking points to mm-hmm. get in her confessional. And I was like, wow, I didn't even catch that they effectively marketed to me. In the middle of the episode. Yep. Well you done, know guys. I almost feel like this is the way that like TV is going to go at some point. Because I, obviously, most people nowadays record stuff and then watch yep. it later. So they fast forward through commercials. This is probably going to be the way that you get people to like, you know, uh, either, like, it's going to be either like on free for YouTube. Because like no one pays to, you know, for free, you know, yeah. and free YouTube. So you're going to see those commercials regardless. But like for TV... They're probably going to start like sneaking it in a lot more on these episodes, just like this. And you're like, why am I? You, you you're like sitting there. You're like, why do I have a jacuzzi now? Like, what made me want a jacuzzi? And it's because Sheree and Marlo <laughs> sat in the jacuzzi for like three hours on an episode one day, talking about how great the jacuzzi is, and They're we didn't have pick like up on it. QR codes pop up that you yeah. can like scan, and you're like, well, look, I just bought that. I know one thing I think about more than anything in the world right now is freaking jurassic park the new movie because the new logo is <laughs> like this on the entire screen taking up the, i'm like what is happening i'm like what can can what you move happening? it it right. doesn't need to be that big exactly and does it it's need like to be at the, the top put it at the bottom <laughs> right it's so much it's so much i've been mad about it all week <laughs> it's too much it's way too much we get the point right and like make it pop in and out it doesn't need to be there the entire time it's like stamped right and huge get it. good god it's a lot um so here's this very stage scene i'm calling the whole thing out so sheree's mm-hmm. like sheree's like oh uh marlo hi i'm just <laughs> I, i'm just here in my pajamas oh what do you mean a car Oh, I guess I have to go get ready. I'm like, okay, guys. No, this right. is why. We, this is why we know Sheree's not acting because that's her acting. Right. <laughs> All right, guys. The so, chips was way more believable because I believe chi- those chips. I believe those chips were good. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so she gets ready, and the blindfold in the car was hilarious and completely unnecessary. Also, if anyone like, we all know that. We have lashes. We have makeup. No one can put on a blindfold. Are you crazy? Right. No it's one. So, it's so funny because that had to have been a producer that was driving. Because she was like, it's going to mess up my hair. And he was like, child, it ain't going to mess up your hair. It's like no Uber driver could have said, like, right. put it on. She would have been right. like, who are you, driver? Exactly. Yeah, you're that right. That had like... to have been a boss. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I thought the same thing. I'm like, wow, she's being very obedient. That doesn't right. make any sense. <laughs> that makes more sense. I was like, that I that's so funny because I even thought that, like, wow, that mm-hmm. she's being so polite to him. It had to have been because I'm it like had to the lingo been. and everything. I was like, oh no, that's that's one of those like Carlos King taught producers <laughs> yeah. that's working on the team now. Oh, yes, I recognize. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's so mm-hmm. true. <laughs> Marlo kicks out Drew because she's married, <laughs> even if it is to Ralph. Yeah. <laughs> Marlo, this is her season. This is her season. She, she is looks hilarious great in, in that every confessional scene. too. Her with second the, the confe- gloves with on the, the gloves. Uh-huh. Ooh. Yes. Now I'm not feeling that little bitty wig she has on in the other one, but this one made up I don't for like it. That. I don't like that either, but this one is no. great. This, this one, one made up for it. Fan. Love that love that pink one that's like kind of furry with the blaze. Yeah. Love that look. Love this one. The other one we can we can burn. That one can yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That can go somewhere. <laughs> so Marlo is like <laughs> Get out your credit card because I'm styling you and you're <laughs> going to pay for the whole thing. Yes. I, like, that is impressive. Yeah. She set, she set Sheree up in this 
fun situation. Here's a surprise for you, girl. I love you so much. And she set it all up to make a sale. Right. Basically. I wonder if she got a commission from it because. <laughs> right. <laughs> like had she to had have. to have had to have. Right. Oh, yeah. I she would imagine because. I w- I couldn't imagine showing them to my friend's house and they're like, surprise, we're going to do a shopping spree, but you're paying. It's like, mm, that doesn't yeah. sound like much fun, but okay, why yeah, not? Yeah, thanks. $11,000 later. Right. Crazy, but I mean, Crazy. I guess if you got it. She looked it, great like- <laughs> and and Marlo was, I mean, she it was great. Like the mm-hmm. whole thing was authentic and wonderful. Right. And then they have a real moment and Marlo asked the right question here. She said, what would you tell your daughter Uh if a man did that to them? And that's always the way to get someone. It's like, imagine your daughter came to you and explained the situation. It's like, oh, that puts it in perspective. And that obviously makes Sheree break down. Like, oh, my God, I would never want them Uh to go through this. And they cry. And it's just like, oh, love yourself. And what a moment. Right. The what a irony, moment those two had. The irony is not lost on me though that it was called the charade cheer up party and they spent most of this time crying. Like that I, that irony is not lost on me, but I'm glad at least she had a breakthrough about Tyrone. That's Marlo great. made sure that she was gonna cry for at least half of it. Yes. <laughs> She's like, okay, you did enough shopping. Let's let's go in the kitchen and cry. She's like, I'm Kyle Richards. I need my crying moment that I didn't she had get like, earlier. She in the had season. a checklist. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's like, you've shopped, you're gonna cry. And then after the cry, we have a little foot rub moment with this random guy. Right. Also, that was a ridiculous amount of food, right? Okay. For two people. Why? For two people. <laughs> Like I'm I know not mad Ken, at it. I know but... Kenya was supposed to be there, but even just for three people, I'm like, right? What? I'm guessing maybe I don't know. I'm devil's for asking. The crew? Maybe like the right, maybe like the the. I'm gonna say like not even like the behind the scenes. I'm gonna say like maybe the Fendi guy. Maybe she's like, okay, I'm gonna get you a plate to go. The oh. foot massager. <laughs> the two boys upstairs. Like maybe oh, yeah. I'm trying to think like maybe okay. they'll get like the leftovers. So like maybe okay. it wasn't a lot, but uh, I don't. I thought this. I I clocked that same thing because Drew was like, you ordered a lot. But I was like, and only Kenya was supposed to be joining them. It was just going to be the three. But you're right. There's other Mm -hmm. people. So (laughs) it made 12 cupcakes, by the way. So 12. Yeah. (laughs) I've been off sugar and dairy for so long that I was like, give me a cupcake right now. Oh, my God. Let me tell you, this is so off topic but like okay uh, tell me the newest marvel show that's come out is miss marvel and she opened you know i don't do like sodas and dare like not dairy uh, i don't do sodas and uh sweets really anymore at all and so she opened her refrigerator and it's so bad because like i could only see like the top piece of the carton but i recognize the ice cream brand that she had oh. in her freezer and it was jenny's ice cream Ooh. and it looked and my favorite, I don't know if y'all have ever had it out there watching, but Jenny's has a brand of ice cream called Gooey Butter Cake that is literally like, it, it's what I, if I had to imagine what heaven tasted like, that would be it. My mouth just started watering. It is, oh my, I, in this so, I've been to like, I went to uh, Birmingham, like we randomly go to Birmingham sometimes just cause like it's close. So like we randomly go to Birmingham and like they have a Jenny's location there. Oh, it's even better. <gasps> like in the stuff it's amazing. when it's like freshly scooped. Mm-hmm. Mm. No, oh. Jenny's is no joke. Yes. He's got a birthday cake one. That's really good too. Mm-hmm. Well, it's all, so I don't think I've met a Jenny's flavor that I didn't like. So, yeah, but that's just me being like literally like pausing the TV and like staring at the card and like, is that Jenny's? And then I recognize like the, the period on the J and the, like the top of the E. I'm like, ooh, that's Jenny's right there. But I yeah. can't have them anymore. So, yeah, sadness. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's uh, I like I like detoxed from. Mm-hmm from the dairy and the sugar, the sugar mainly like detoxing from sugar is a real thing. Like your body goes through withdrawals. It's a beast. Yeah. And then there's like the emotional aspect of it because like it used to bring you joy. Yes. And so even just spotting the branding, you're like, Oh, I remember that. Like, Mm -hmm. I know exactly what you mean. Oh, I, 
I think I'm gonna like if I ever go back to Birmingham anytime soon. I'm gonna just you just you know, do I, it. I, I made a lot of change, like a lot of change. Uh-huh. I'm like I want to focus on my health. I want to be like this and like that. I want these kind of reports when I go to the doctor and all like that. But I'm gonna risk it all if I go back to Birmingham because I'm gonna get me <laughs> I'm gonna get me a cup of that ice cream because it's been way too long. I need it yeah. in my life. I feel like if you if you have if it's a treat, like a literal treat once mm-hmm. in a while, it's fine because I was right. making it a habit. I was right. like, it was like four times a week. That's it was like not- literally like, oh, house because housewives come on like four times a week. You're like, oh, housewives, let me get the ice cream out. Let me watch it with, you know, you got to have something to eat with your show. So. Exactly. So yeah. that's the difference. You can have a treat. I'm justifying okay. it because in my head, I'm like, what am I going to have now? Okay, okay, <laughs> now good, I'm like, good. I'm going to have a treat too. We'll have a treat. We'll be We're back allowed. together. There we go. We're allowed. There we We're go. We're allowed. Stop <laughs> yelling at us. I know. God damn it. Um, <laughs> all right. Sonia's event. Yes. Um, I was cracking up. So Drew's not coming, but I've been cracking up <laughs> that they're all going to be cooking. Like, mm-hmm. already I'm nervous because, I mean, Kenya looks, <laughs> Kenya looks fucking fabulous right i will admit though you can tell she does look not like in a bad way but she does look sick like she looks on point hair looks good Mm -hmm. outfit her boobs look incredible you can tell like sometimes it like seeps through the makeup and like the clothes and stuff you can just like even though like the face is beat hair's done and everything you can just tell by the way someone's holding them so it's like oh you're not all there today you 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 don't feel you're a hundred percent you can I, like no matter what she would have done, it mm-hmm. still would have. She would have looked like she wasn't feeling well. But she right. clearly doesn't have COVID. But I was thinking, like, even if she doesn't have COVID, I don't want to even get a cold. Like she shouldn't have even been around. Right. Period. <laughs> you know, what it's I mean? crazy. I like that's how we that. think now, right? That's how we think now, though, because it's like we. It's like we like sit and think about it. We're like we used to just like shake people's hands just <laughs> randomly and like like we used to just hug people like what are we doing with our lives like how dangerous living in the age of covid how dangerous what are we doing do we like, hate she should have had a mask on she should mm-hmm. like i don't like none of you guys want to even catch a cold at all like so i don't care if it's covid or not if you're sick go away yeah so Agreed. she's all cooking i'm like don't touch the food uh, right yeah. because now like the concept covid was the thing that taught me how like what when you caught a cold I was like, oh, wait, that's so much grosser than I than I realized. Yeah. Because like the whole concept of catching COVID, I'm like, that's what catching a cold was. It was this bacteria that like jumped around. Ew. Uh So now she's like up in the plantains and like, get your hands off the food. She's all coughing. I'm like, you need to. No, no. And everybody like wants her to leave, but they just don't want to like, you know, they're like, we got to shoot a scene. And it's like, oh, boy. (laughs) I'm like, Marlo makes this the dumb joke about the plantains. Like, imagine it's like a penis or something. And Kenya goes, not like you would know with the 90 year olds you date. (laughs) Quick wit. We love quick wit. I Um, love it. Candy didn't call Sheree to check in about Tyrone. Now, Mm -hmm. let me ask you, do you think this was because they're filming and Candy was saving it for camera? Ooh, I didn't think about that. Probably, I, it's hard to say though, because like we've seen like the Candy, Cynthia, Kenya, Click be so like rushed to each other's side like for so long that it's hard to imagine that. But it's also like, well, her and Sheree, like they weren't just like kicking it every day while Sheree wasn't on the show. So I know they're friends, but like, you know, so I would imagine like she's probably like, OK, well, we'll talk about this at some point. Let me just like let me hit up like Eric, the producer. We'll we'll set up a scene and we'll talk about it then. So maybe just Sanya beat her to the punch. So that's probably what it is. But yeah. now Sheree like has an opportunity to be like, you know what? You're a bad friend and I'm going to I'm going to stick to that so that we can, you know, draw this out a little bit for the season. And you know what? Respect. <laughs> right. Like Sheree needs an opportunity to feud because she needs more camera time. So it's a good, it's a good thing to roll with. Like, Mm -hmm. Hey, yeah. You know, you didn't call me. And she's saying that drew reached out, which was cool to drew. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Um, Candy is, I, it's Candy's probably a little wary of Sheree. 
Candy's, mm. I, I feel like Candy might be a little worried because she also knows Sheree's messy. Like Sheree's the bone carrier. Like she, she's had, she's dealt with Sheree before on the show and she knows how she could mm-hmm. be. So I can guarantee Candy's a little like, I'm going to be careful. I'm right. a little nervous. I'm mm-hmm. a little, but Sheree's going to be like, we're friends. You bet. You're like, she's going to ride with that one. Yep. Because I almost feel like when she said to Candy, uh, why didn't you reach out? I swear Candy almost like looked at the cameras or towards the cameras <laughs> to be like, well, I like to talk to them. You know what I mean? I swear I saw mm-hmm. a moment of her kind of being like, well, I thought we would do because she said like something like I was waiting to see if you even wanted to talk about it. Like mm-hmm. oh, this is the filming of the show. Right. When I think about it. I all this almost kind of like tracks with like Sheree's behavior too. Cause if you think back to like season four ish, like I always like jump over the place, but when you think back to like season four when like she was going through that divorce or no, she was going through that battle, like legal battle with Bob, mm. Phaedra was like doing what she needed to do and like in the course of stuff like that, but she felt like Phaedra was a horrible friend because of this and oh well you didn't follow that when we should have done this and like that. Yeah. And so Phaedra got thrown under the bus left and right, left and right too. And it's like it kind of feels like Sheree maybe has like a I don't know if it's an unattainable level of friendship, but it's almost like you can reach it, but I'm going to call you out every single step of the way when you misstep. And it's almost like no grace is ever allowed or ever given to anybody that she just like, it almost like she tests people to be her friends. I don't oh, know if yeah. it's like the relationship she's had in the past, like Bob Whitfield to be the perfect example. I don't know if she just feels like she needs to test people to see if she needs to let them in her space or what it is, but it kind of seems like it's something from the past that always just like lingers around. First Phaedra, now you know, a million in the middle, but now candy. So, uh. and it's also a pattern with even like, think of every event planner she's dealt with <laughs> any person. Right. She's, she, she burns every bridge. Like mm-hmm. everyone pisses her off and she fires everyone. Like that's yep. Sheree. So I, 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 let's put a pin in that. We'll probably come back to it because I feel like we're on to something. Yeah. It'll, it'll come up. It'll come it'll up. Come up. Just saying so, Anthony was the one this season that didn't get paid and all like that. Lost it. But yeah. anyway, it'll come up. It'll, it'll come it's, up. Right. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um. So this then leads into, which is so, I felt so bad for Kenya because Kenya was just so there for Sheree when the mm-hmm. Tyrone thing happened. And Sheree took this one little teeny tiny thing of her not going to the little party, mm-hmm. which translates to this was my scene. This was my camera scene. This was my like, you know, you weren't there for it. And Marlo's got me all hyped up saying you were in glam. So where were you really going? You know, what right. other scene? What other scene did you film is what mm-hmm. she's probably really thinking. And she and then now they're both yelling at Kenya and then Kenya's yelling back and it's stupid. And Mama Joyce just goes, hey, shut up. <laughs> and literally Kenya goes, OK, I'll be quiet, Mama Joyce. And it's right. over. And mm-hmm. it's literally over. They start they move on. I thought they were going to go back and forth some more, but literally done. Right. It's You know what? I always, This is so petty of me to even bring up, but I almost feel like Kenya goes the extra step. <laughs> she goes the extra step to be respectful of Mama Joyce because of that crack she made about her wig a few seasons back when she was... <laughs> she's still scared. She's, she knows she's still in the doghouse. So so she... as a matter of fact. <laughs> oh, she was! That, with that Mama Joyce wig you got on the can, candy with a mouthful of food. And candy with a like, mouthful of food was like, hey, now don't be talking about <laughs> I feel like candy, whenever Mama Joyce says something now, she's like, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> That's my theory and I'm sticking to it. I think you're right. Because <laughs> she obeyed. Yeah, she she dropped it like her whole face. She just smiles and yes, Mama Joyce. She dropped it with Drew. <laughs> I'll be I'll be quiet. Right. Um. So okay, Marlo then busts because they, they figure out that they that Marlo and 
Marlo and and Sheree were the only ones not invited to Sonya's photo shoot. Mm-hmm. And they bust, they <laughs> they bust her right away. They're like, "Oh, we see what you did." Mm-hmm. And Marlo goes, "There's no way you felt closer to Candy, okay? <laughs> candy takes forever to get close to, okay? Mm-hmm. I've known her for 15 years, and it takes forever to get close to her." And, and so- she didn't even deny it. Candy's like, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. "Truth is truth, yeah." <laughs> And so in a huff, they go outside and they talk. And I, I'm going to bring <laughs> up. Yeah. I'm going to bring something up. Do you remember when they went to Barcelona? Uh, mm-hmm. It was like season 10, I want to say. And so Cynthia had, Cynthia got them that horrible villa that they all yes. hated. Mm-hmm. But so obviously everyone had, a, every the rooms were terrible, but candy went in and like put her bag in like the best room yeah and everyone was mad because it's like no it was you know we're gonna like decide who gets it she's like i don't care i'm keeping the room mm-hmm. and marlo was so pissed she's like candy's a fucking brat like she's and she was really resentful mm-hmm. i feel like that was very telling like marlo's always felt like candy's better than her or think she's better than her Mm. marlo at the end of the day had a tough childhood and like didn't have any opportunities and then there's candy she went to like a performing arts high school she had Mm -hmm. all the opportunities and she's so successful Mm -hmm. and then there's marlo who struggled and struggled and candy's always been kind of like too busy to deal with marlo on that same on that same trip is when marlo said to candy um i'm gonna give you etiquette lessons when they were on the bus, oh. and Candy was like, "You're not giving anyone etiquette lessons." And right. She's like, well, when you come on a bus, you should talk to people. Like she's always felt dissed by Candy. Uh-huh. And so now there's this opportunity because Candy didn't call Sheree to talk about the Tyrone thing. Right. And so they go out, and right away Marlo's like, "She fucked for free, everybody <laughs> in Atlanta, and that's why she dates under her tax bracket." Which is like, Sheesh. what? It's and literally Sheree like <laughs> laughing, like, yep, mm-hmm, yep. This reunion is gonna be so good. Oh my god, <laughs> it is so much. Uh, like it's it's ridiculous. Like literally, Sheree when she talked about both Candy and King agreed with everything that Marlo like, said, and it's like, like oh, hard geez. nods, like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It almost like, feels like this group is about to be divided right down the middle. You've got yep. Sanya, Candy, Kenya, and then you've got Drew, Marlo, uh, Sheree on the other side. And this might get good. I'm aware of it. But Drew and Sheree are going to be feuding too. Yeah. And Ooh. who do we also have? We have Marlo and Kenya feuding, Candy and Marlo feuding, uh, Sanya and Drew feuding. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a lot of cross divides. So, it's going to be a this lot. This is an action-packed season Mm -hmm. there's so many uh yeah but then also did you see marlo on watch what happens live yes (laughs) she's like talking how like look i know kenya is i've never really loved kenya but i gotta say this season i'm really liking kenya and i can't even believe what's happening is someone breaking into your house the way you're looking over your shoulder i'm scared (laughs) i watched too much true crime that i'm like okay we're about to witness a murder everyone stay tuned like what the fuck it's too much too many emotions and stuff i was like i don't know what 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 huh what are you trying (laughs) to say to me i don't know (laughs) um i when she when marlo acts like kenya's accomplished nothing i'm like right give her give her her flowers Mm -hmm. like marlo no offense but like kenya's a lot more accomplished than you are it's okay to admit it Mm -hmm. it's okay so she loses like even andy's like well i mean she was like andy's defending (laughs) kenya right and it's Andy even doesn't love Kenya. Like Andy gets very frustrated with Kenya so many mm-hmm. times. Like that one reunion, he was so mad at Kenya. Mm-hmm. It was the one where she had been like basically gay bashing uh, Kim's husband. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was so mad at her. He's like, mm-hmm. "You better apologize." And she was like, "Okay, maybe I'm sorry." He's like, "That was a horrible apology." Right. Like he was <laughs> shamelessly mad at her. Mm-hmm. But even like he's defending Kenya on Watch What Happens Live because I'm like, Marlo, you got to work on your beats. Right? They're just, they're just not accurate. Like you lose. Like they need to be a little accurate in order right. to work. She's I want them to work. 
I know. She's like, she, and it almost like, I don't know if they ever get better because she's almost accepted the fact that like, she's like, okay, my quick wit isn't the same as them. So I'm just literally going to hit below the belt. None of them want to hit below the belt. I don't mind. I'll hit below the belt every time and then maybe I'll win. So I'm, I don't know. It makes for good TV, but it's like, good God, Marlo. You just, Marlo, you, you're a mess. <laughs> a mess. And Sheree, didn't you, like, you were just stood up by Tyrone. Like, <laughs> you're not in a position to be talking about, like, they're like, and Kenya went through everyone and didn't get a ring. I'm like, she got married. Right. And had a baby. She got a ring. Uh-huh. All right, guys. And then so the final shot is Drew showing up. And the account Queens of Bravo compared it to, like, Jill showing up on scary island like hi, hi. <laughs> <laughs> it's like i know you started your um love and marriage huntsville journey haven't you i think or was okay, it marriage I, I have a confession one? i have Uh-oh. a confession Ugh. okay i can't handle any more Uh-oh. of the cheating scandal story oh it's lines. a lot of that too so yeah like for me, I don't care anymore about cheating right. scandals. I'm like, I'm sure they're cheating. They're right. all cheating. <laughs> like I had to stop. I was trying to watch Love and Hip Hop, and I'm like, why don't you guys just assume everyone's cheating on you at this point? It's like, right. are you cheating? Yes. I'm going to save you guys all the trouble. Mm-hmm. They're all cheating on you. Why are you guys assuming you're in monogamous relationships anymore? You so shouldn't. I ha- I, I I got very frustrated. I know. <laughs> I got so frustrated that Mar- like- that Marceau guy. I can't. Mm-hmm. Oh my god! Like that that man, that man. Although I do like seeing clips now because now that they're separated and she just shamelessly hates him, I like that they're separated, right? Um, Marceau and Letitia are still together. Martel and Melody, though, they're divorced. Oh, that's who I meant. That's who I meant. Yeah, that's who I meant. I meant that. I meant Martel. That's who I'm he's, talking about. Do you know? Do you know why they got divorced? Please tell me everything. Okay, so they got divorced because he literally, like, you know, they. I don't know if you know, but at the end of season one, they were like about to part ways and stuff. But yes, she I know. Pregnant. I got to season. I got to the middle of season two. Okay. So around, I think it's either the end of season two or the beginning of season three, they found out that Martell has an out of wedlock baby on the way. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. And so like we come back and like, they're like completely like separated, ready to get divorced because he literally like this girl, the same girl he had been like this, this girl that he had been like cheating everything with is pregnant with his child. See, here's what I need to do. I just need to have you tell me what. Like, I just need, it's, it's, I can't, like, I can't get through it. I just need mm-hmm. the recaps. It's more fun to hear, like, it, like this. Mm-hmm. Cause I'm like, episode after episode, I'm like, just assume they're all cheating, guys. Like, yeah. every single one of these guys, it's like, oh my God. So, okay, Martel is who I was talking about. Martel. Yes. Okay. So mm-hmm. he had an out of, <gasps> okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. Is Marceau, Marceau and what's her face are still together? Yeah, Marceau, though, you know, everyone, every episode He's, is accusing him of cheating, but like no one ever provides episode. receipts. So it's just kind of like. Her mom has like, been accusing him. Every time I see a clip, yeah. it's the exact same thing. I'm like, that That's has why, been yeah. happening <laughs> since day one. Mm-hmm. That's why I can remember why I brought Love and Marriage Huntsville up. That was why, because every you always know wanda the mom is about to yeah. start some crap because she enters the scene she's like hey the same <laughs> as like the <laughs> the drew and the the uh jill and everything it's all every single time it's like oh shit wanda's about to start a lot of mess <sighs> and i love it it's golden every single time are you recapping love and marriage or no it depends on so like i don't recap it weekly but like I'll either go on someone else's podcast or I'll bring someone on to talk about it on mine because like, I love like doing like maybe like every month's worth of episodes. I'll bring okay, someone so on to talk about it. I need to it, so. go back through yours and find your love and marriage recaps because yes. I, I just need you to tell me what's happened. Mm-hmm. And I'll then send you the link. I'll send you the links. Yeah. Okay. And you know what I'll do? Send me the links and I'll link them below for any, any, any okay. viewers that want to hear them because yes. it's sometimes like, cause there's so many seasons too, to get through. And mm-hmm. I was like every single episode, I'm like, can we just assume that all your men are cheating? 
Right. I am so <laughs> tired. And when I see clips and I see Wanda still saying the same stuff, I'm like, oh my God, she's still doing this? Yes. Will not stop. She is what like, what season to is ruin- it on now? It's on four. They usually like split it into like two. So like they'll go like halfway through season like four and then they'll like take a break and then come back the second half of season four and then do the reunion. And so I don't know if they'll do it this time. They might just crank the entire way through. I don't know. But I thought that like they would take a break. DC would air and then Huntsville would come back. But like no, they're airing at the same time. So who knows? And DC is Monique, right? Yes. Have you been? Has that been good? It, it it started off slow, but it's gotten good now. Cause like now they're like uh Monique is starting stuff that she shouldn't be starting, and then the other girls are like none of them back down from anything. So like they're going like head to head, fist to fist. One of the husbands is low-key terrible, and but the husbands as as a whole aren't Monique and Chris, I don't know if they're gonna make it. <gasps> I, I saw that coming. I saw that coming. They were they had mm-hmm. so many cracks when they were on Potomac, which mm-hmm. is why they were so fiercely defensive of yes. the situation. Mm-hmm. Um okay, so maybe I'll watch maybe I'll watch that one. Yeah, but that's only less material to get through. Four I can, like, or five episodes. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Like I can kind of, I can be a part of that journey rather yes. than having to like catch all the way up. Okay, okay, you sold. Boom. They're, and not a lot Boom. of, not like cheating stuff. So it's mostly like the that's women what you're saying. I, with each other. I, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Good. Okay. Okay. There you go. Listeners. Oh, sorry. Watchers. We're on YouTube. Right. Watchers. <laughs> <laughs> I, have to, I have to change gears. Mm-hmm. Um. All right. Well, that's the end of the episode, guys. Thank you, as always, for being here, Kendrick. What? Wait. Wait. What? I screenshot something because I wanted to say it <gasps> while oh we were God. on the podcast. Headline, <gasps> Drew Sedora's sister slash manager confirms that Drew did date LeBron James back in the day before he was married. <laughs> and Aww, I, she like sat there and sister. told like a whole, I know, <laughs> told a whole, if you look at them too, they look just alike. I was like, oh crap, is, really? is that Drew? Like, yeah, they look like eerily similar. It's just her... I won't do that. But she did. They look a lot alike. But yeah, she made sure for some odd reason, like weeks later, decided to get on the Internet and say, oh, no, they they did. They they dated. It's like, okay. (laughs) We really didn't get a lot of Drew this episode. She's like, I'll set this out. Don't worry. I'll be back. Right. I'll come explode it next week. Don't worry. (laughs) Don't worry about it. I'm popping in at the very Uh end. Kendrick, tell everybody where to find you, please. Of course. Hello, everyone. I'm Kendrick Tucker. You can find me anywhere you get your podcast: Apple, Spotify, iHeart, Google. I'm on all the things. Reality and Comics 2. You can find me on Instagram at Reality Comics 2, T-O-O. And if you feel so inclined, I always tell people, support your favorite content creator. Just leave us a great five-star rating and review. Thumbs up this video. Like, that's yes. simple, super simple stuff. Share with your friends. Subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Plenty oh. of things, free things you can do to support your favorite content creators. Oh, thank you for that plug. Do of everything course. he just said. I don't need to say anymore, <laughs> you guys. Bye. Thanks for watching. Mwah.